Hello everyone, welcome back to Shellcode. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to compile your Kivi app into a APK, which you will then be able to install on your Android phone. So first things first, we're going to need to use Linux for this because we're going to be using Bulldozer, and Bulldozer is the program that lets us turn our Python app into a Android app, um, and that only works on Linux. So I've got a Linux virtual machine here, so you're going to need to set up a virtual machine which is like an operating system inside an operating system. But once you've got a virtual machine set up, the, the first thing we're going to want to do is to open up a terminal. And now that we've got a terminal open, so to install pip on Ubuntu we're going to need to do sudo apps install pip python3 dash pip. So that's the first command we need to run. Then you need to type in your password, which you set up at the start while installing Ubuntu. Then you hit Y, and then it'll just install pip. Okay, and now that pip has installed, what we're going to want to do now is install Kivi, because of course this is a new um this is a, this is a new machine, so we're going to need to install Kivi. So we need to do pip3 install Kivi. And that will take some time as well. Okay, and now once um once Kivi has installed, I'll just clear the screen again. Now we need to do pip free install bulldozer. And bulldozer is the um is the program that's going to convert our Python app into a Android app which we'll be able to install on our phones. Um so we just run this as well. And once that is done, we'll do we need to um just type in this command sudo apt update and it should only take a quick second. And it's done the update, so we just clear it again, and now we have to copy and paste in this really long command. I'll leave it, I'll leave all the commands in the description for you just to copy and paste in, but I'm just going to paste this in here. This is going to install all the other programs that we're going to need, so I'll just hit enter. Now that we've installed all those programs, I'm once again going to clear the screen, and now we need to install Siphon, which is a Python module that, um, that Bulldozer needs. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And what, it's also going to be this specific version number, so just paste that in, and hit enter. And once we've done that, we need to run this command. And once we've done that, we, we should be uh, good to go with using Bulldozer. Once we've done all that, we want to go to our project directory, so you'll just open up the file manager up here, and then you'll just go into wherever your project is. You'll need to transfer that from your main machine onto the virtual machine, whether that's through like cloud storage or a USB drive or whatever. But once it's on the virtual machine, you want to right click on it and hit open in terminal. So as we can see, we've got the, uh, we've got the main.py and we've also got our KV file. And you may need to make sure that your Python file is called main.py, otherwise Bulldozer won't work. You need to run bulldozer.init and you'll get this error bulldozer command not found and what you need to do is you need to run this export command again so export path equals dollar sign path whatever hit enter and now if we type in bulldozer in it it says file bulldozer.spec created is ready to customize so you can see we've got this bulldozer.spec file i'm going to use nano it's a text editor that's based in the terminal um, so if you type in nano bulldozer.spec, that opens that bulldozer file in the terminal to edit. This is like the configuration of your app. So you can change the title of your app, the package name, basically just configure everything for your app. Um, so I'm going to change the title from my application to shopping list. And then the package name, it needs to be all one word, but we'll just have like shopping list. Then we can just ignore these. Um, if you have any file types in your project that um, you want to include, whether that's like images or uh, music files or whatever, you need to make sure that you have um, have them listed here. So if you have like an MP3 file to play, you need to type in MP3. But we've already got uh, a Python. Uh, we only need a Python file and our KV file, which is already here. So you can just leave that. If you're using any other Python modules, you'll need to list them here. So for example. You might be using the request module, you need to have like requests there. So those are all your um, modules that you're using in your Python file. But we've already got Python 3 and Kivi, so we can just leave it like that. And um, here you can change the orientation of your program, so I just want to keep it in portrait. But you could also have a landscape, so we could have it as landscape. 
but I'm just going to keep it as portrait. To exit this, we can hit Control X, and then we need to type in Y, and then hit Enter. And once we've done that, we need to do Bulldozer, dash V, Android, and then Debug. And this will take quite a long time, so you, you'll just have to let it do its stuff. It's going to take a while, uh, but I'll come back to you once this has finished. And you'll get a prompt asking you to agree to some terms and conditions. You'll just want to hit Y and then press Enter when that comes along. Okay, now that that's finished, um, we have our APK. So what you need to do is type in CD bin. And CD is just to change directory into the bin folder. Um, and once we've done that, if you type in LS to list all the stuff that's inside that folder, you can see we've got shoppinglist.apk. Yours might be called something different. But what we need to do now is we need to get this off our virtual machine and onto our phone. You could use Google Drive, but I'm going to be using OneDrive. So I'm going to jump over to my phone now and I'm going to show you how to install it. So as you can see, I'm on my phone now and you can see I've got this shoppinglist.apk file. So if you transferred it through OneDrive or Google Drive, you want to go onto the OneDrive or Google Drive app and then download that onto your phone. And then in a file manager, you'll want to go into wherever you downloaded it. I'm just going to be using the default files app on my phone. Uh, you can get like ES File Explorer off the Play Store or whatever. Just get a File Explorer and find where your APK is on your Android phone. And we want to just press on it. Uh, you just want to hit continue here. And then you want to hit install. And then it will say app installed. We can close out of this. Then here you can see we've got this My Application um, app, but we can open it. Then it'll say Loading. And there we go, we got a shopping list. We can press on the text input, and then we can ask for like, then we can list down like cheese or whatever. And there we go, we've got our shopping list. So this is the end of our Kivi tutorial series with Python. The next series that I'm going to do with Python is how to make um, an RPG game with Pygame in Python. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. If you had any errors or issues with compiling this to an APK, be sure to just leave a comment and let me know. I will get back to you. But otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.